All right, in this video, I want to show you how to get a background, a custom background image to your recent apps. Now, I am using a Samsung Galaxy Note 8, and when I swipe up on my recent apps, notice we do have a new image that pops up in the background. Not only that, if I back out of here, it will fade away back to my custom live wallpaper. I also had this applied to my apps drawer, and you will see these little words pop up. Notice the background does show up. There's a little caveat here with the background on my apps drawer. If I back out of here, it does fade out and it shows home because I'm back on my home screen. However, for my apps drawer, if I swipe up, which I'm used to doing, it did say apps down there. If I swipe down without using the back button, notice nothing flashes up here and this background does not go away. Now, maybe that will work different for you, but when I swipe up, I see apps, and if I use the back button, I see home, and it will fade away. Now, these little flashes that you see down here at the bottom are coming from Tasker. We can easily cut those off, but I did want to show you the caveat to the application drawer. However, the recent apps, I'm pressing my recent apps button. I use the back to back out of it, and that works perfectly. And that's the main one I want to focus on here, but you can really apply this same technique to the apps, the recent apps. And then when I swipe down on my notification shade, notice it says notification shade, and we have that background popping up there in the back. However, if I swipe up to exit out of my notification shade, notice it does not flash home at the bottom. But the main one here again, if I go to my recent apps, it says One UI Home. That's what my recent apps window label is. And if I close out of this, that background does fade away. So let me show you how to set this up in Tasker. So in this project, Recent Apps BG, you'll be able to find this in my Tasker file section. I have two profiles. One is Show Window Name and one is Apply BG. Now the show window name, nothing crazy here. To add a profile, we go to plus, let's give it a name. And for that, let's do an event. Let's come to variables, let's go to variable set. And the variable we're interested in is percent win or window label. Notice it's percent win. This is a global variable in Tasker. When I back out of that, it's going to either allow you to create a new task or you can use an already existing task. But I tell you what, I don't even really need to use this here, so I'm just gonna back out of that and I'm gonna let that profile get deleted. But that's how I'm doing these profiles. Variable set, percent win, and if I come to this task for show label, this is what was flashing, whether it was notification shade, one UI home, or the apps. Those things you saw flashing down here a moment ago. I don't really need that profile to run now, so I'm just gonna cut it off. Now something very important to bear in mind too is this. If your labels are not showing up like they are for me, come up here to these three dots, go to preferences, under monitor, let's set the app check method to accessibility. And then there's one more thing we need to do as well. Let's go back to this main screen, three dots, go to more, go to Android settings, go to accessibility settings, installed services, and make sure you have tasker set to own. This is allowing Tasker to access the ability to read the percent win. As a matter of fact, if I click on this Tasker, notice by this being cut on, that's one of the main variables that this needs to be cut on for in order to access percent win. So make sure your accessibility is on, and then also again, underneath preferences, make sure that monitor is set to accessibility underneath app check method. That should allow you to see those window labels. The one to actually get the background to show for the tasker end of it, we'll come and look at custom right here in a second, is this apply BG. It's the same variable set, percent win, and for this task, show BG, I have an if and an else. And for this if statement in tasker, I have this or this or this. These were those labels that the percent win returned. So the one UI home was what flashed across the screen when I went to my recent apps. Notification shade with a period is what flashed when I went to my notification shade. And then the apps in all caps is what flashed when we went to our app drawer. Now, since there were some caveats to apps and the notification shade, I'm just going to trash those. And again, this is mainly for the recent apps, but you could leave those there as well with the or statement. You press the plus, 
change this to an or and use that variable percent win with whatever window label you want that background to pop up in. But again, I'm not going to use that just for my recent apps back and out of here. And if that condition is met, basically, if I'm on my recent app screen, I'm going to do a KOWP send variable or KWGT or whatever custom app you're sending this to. And underneath configuration, a task or string of yes. This can be whatever you want, but yes, I'm on my recent apps. The custom variable name is going to be BG. Checking on that, backing out of here. And now, if percent win does not match one UI home, if I'm not in my recent apps, this is where the else comes into play. I want to do a KOWP send variable. For the configuration there, we're saying no but we're using the same custom variable name. So this custom variable BG can either be yes or no. Yes will be when we are in our recent apps. No is when we are not in our recent apps. Checking on that, backing out of here. Let's go back to our profiles and that's all we need. And again, you can pick this up from my tasker files. So now let's check on this and let's go into custom. Now I'm just going to double check real quick before we go inside of there. I don't see that flashing image there now because I disabled it. When I go to my app drawer, I don't see it. And by the way, I have the background for my Nova launcher. I have it set to transparent. That's why I can still see my custom live wallpaper through my app drawer. However, when I go to recent apps, we should see this thing flash. And that's because of the way I had this set up inside of custom. So let's go have a look. Inside of custom, I have an image. I called it BG image. You can pick whatever image you want. And for its animation, we have it set to a formula. We're going to fade in for this formula. Let's have a look. If BR tasker comma BG, this is the custom variable name and we're broadcasting for that tasker piece to see whether it's equal to yes or no. Well, if this custom variable from tasker, if it's equal to yes, that means our recent apps drawer is showing, then I want this animation to move forward. If this condition is not met, I want it to move back. And since I have this animation set to fade in, it will fade in when that variable is equal to yes. Now with this technique in mind, you could actually create several different backgrounds, whether you're in your apps, if you can get it to work the way you want it to work, or if you're in your notification shade, maybe you want to show a different image there if you can get it to work. And again, the reason why it's not working on my device is when I go to the notification shade and I close it, it's not flashing home. So Tasker still seeing that percent win as notification shade because it's not going back to something that is not notification shade. Same thing with my app drawer. When I swipe down, it shows apps. If I swipe up, Tasker still sees it as apps. However, when I was in my app drawer and I used the back button, that's when it would set that window label to a new label and it called it home. But the purpose of this tutorial, the request I got was for the recent apps. And this is working absolutely flawlessly. And there you have it, a background for your recent apps window. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.